Today I'm taking a quick look at how the motor node works in BuildBox 3. So I'm going to create a new project, straight into 3D World. Now this, is, we're going to use this as the main part of our car, so I'm just going to resize this a little bit. That'll do for now, and we're going to add some wheels. The tube will be good, that way we can see what we're doing. In and let's get this positioned. Um, yep, zero that. And it takes a little bit of setting up, but once but once things are in place, uh, it'll work great. Hopefully. move that out a little bit and I'm just going to change the uh, mesh on that to a cylinder and let's uh, let's duplicate this one and we'll move it there minus 3.5 Right, that's looking pretty good for the basics of our car. Now we need to link these together using the linker. And we're going to link those two together. Now we want to move the linker into the middle of the wheel uh, so that it's going to spin the wheel and they need to be hinge type linkers as well for this to work. Uh, now we're going to need these to be in exactly the middle because otherwise uh, when we spin the wheel it won't spin perfectly it'll be off axis so it'll give us a weird wiggly car uh, now I'm gonna make it front wheel drive so this is gonna be the front and we're just gonna name this one because it, the linkers need a name so we know the motor knows which one to power so let's go into the cube and we're gonna add a touch node so that when we touch the car it's gonna move and now we're gonna add the motor node let's hook that up and now this is the important part uh, because if we play now uh, oh, that does actually link a name that's using the is linked to the back one but we want it to power the front one uh, so I'm gonna give it the same name as I named this um, and let's get a better view of the car yeah so you can see the linkers are actually spinning they're spinning things the wrong way um, I think we want them both on the x-axis so if we refresh now Okay, that's correct, but our vehicle isn't moving. Oh, and that's because uh, this, the cube is set to dynamic, but our tubes are set to static. So we just need to switch those over to dynamic. And now you can see the front wheel spins and the car moves. Um, I'll give you a quick demo to show you if you off center these, this is why it's important to have them centered in the middle uh, because now you can see it doesn't spin correctly so if we just move that back refresh um, and I'll, I'll just quickly show you you can go into here and you can change the intensity of the motor so if we set that to 100 yeah you can see our front wheel spinning a little faster there and there goes our vehicle. And that's a basic overview of how to use the motor node in BuildBox 3. This project, along with the video, are available on buildboxacademy.com. So if you head over there, you can download this exact project file and have a look at how it all works for yourself. All right, I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.